Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arehato. Sama Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arehato. Sama Sambuddhasa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arehato. Sama Sambuddhasa. Homage to the Blessed One, the Worthy One, the Supremely Enlightened One, Sadhu Sadhu. Okay, now we are going to practice Vipassana meditation on the elements. We are going to investigate the true nature of this body in terms of elements. And this meditation is uh, has been taught by the Buddha uh, in many suttas under the Kaya Nupassana meditation mindfulness techniques. Uh, lots of enlightened monks and nuns uh, before they became enlightened, they practiced this meditation. And this meditation helped them to abandon identity view, Sakaya Ditti, attain the stage of enlightenment, gradually all the way to uh, enlightenment. It's such a powerful meditation to understand the the, the true nature of the body and the uh, misunderstanding that all beings have uh, with the notion of mine, I am and myself with regard to this body and all these uh, wrong notions and distorted perceptions will be abandoned uh, once this meditation is fully uh, developed. Please listen to me and at the same time, investigate the true nature of this body in terms of four great elements. And think in this way. In this body, there are head hairs. Head hairs are earth element. They will eventually go back to the earth and be a part of the earth. In this body, there are body hairs. He has a earth element. They become part of this earth and disappear. In this body, there are nails. They become part of the earth and disappear.
In this body, there are teeth. This earth element. They will eventually go back to the earth and become a part of the earth. In this body, there is skin. It is earth element. It will go back to the earth and become a part of the earth. In this body, there is flesh. It is earth element. It should go back to the earth and become a part of the earth. In this body, there are sinews. It is a element. They go back to the earth and become a part of the earth. In this body, there are bones and bone marrow. They are a part of the earth and go back to the earth. In this body, there are kidneys heart, liver, and diaphragm. They are part of the earth and will go back to the earth. Earth element, Atavidhat. In this body, there are spleen, lungs, intestines, and mesentery. They are earth element. They go back to the earth and become a part of the earth. In this body, there are contents of the stomach and feces. They are earth elements. They go back to the earth and become a part of the earth. All these solid parts of the body are called internal earth element. Both the internal earth element and the external earth element are simply earth element. Earth element is not mine. Earth element is not mine. Earth element is not I am. Earth element is not myself. Earth element is impermanent, subject to change. Subject to change. Not mine. 
not I am, not myself. In this body, there is internal what element? In this body, there is bile, flame, husks. They mix with the water and disappear. They become a part of the water. In this body, there is blood, there is sweat, there is fat, there are water element, apo dhatu. They become a part of the water. You go back to the water. In this body, there are tears. There is grease. There is fiddle. And there is not. A water element. They will go back to the water and become a part of the water. In this body, there is oil on the joints. In this body, there is urine. There are water element. You go back to the water and become a part of the water. All these liquids are called internal water element. Both the internal water element and external water element are simply water element. This water element is impermanent, subject to change. Water element is not mine, not I am, not myself. What element is impermanent, subject to change?
In this body, there is fire element. The heat in this body by which one is warmed, the heat that ages one's body, the heat by which what is eaten, drunk, and tasted gets digested. This is internal fire element. Both the internal fire element and the external fire element are simply fire element. Fire element is impermanent, subject to change. Fire element is not mine, not I am, not myself. Fire element is impermanent, subject to change. Not mine, not I am, not myself. In this body, there is the air element. Upgoing winds, downgoing winds, winds in the belly, winds in the balls, winds that course through the hands and legs. In breath and out breath. This is internal air element. Both the internal air element and external air element are simply air element. The air element is impermanent, subject to change. The air element is not mine, not I am, not myself. All the solid parts in this body, liquid parts in this body, fiery parts of this body, and the wind goes through this body. They all 
go back to the nature and become a part of the uh, part of the nature. Since this body is made up of these four elements, this body is impermanent. Subject to change. This body is not mine. Not I am. Not myself. Please keep in your steady. The true nature of the body in terms of four great elements.
Slowly and gradually stop your meditation. Appreciating the instructions of the fully enlightened Buddha. Reducing powerful good karma of mental development and sharing it with all beings. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.